of us take it for granted. Every time we pour a glass of water, brush our teeth, or take a shower, we just expect that the water that comes out of the faucet is going to be safe and clean. But there are neighborhoods where water quality is a daily concern. I love my children and my grandchildren, and I want them to have safe water. We're God-fearing, tax-paying citizens, and we deserve that. Now, test results reviewed by Channel 2 Investigates raises new questions about water safety in communities all across the Houston area. Our investigator, Jace Larson, is revealing local neighborhoods with high levels of arsenic in the water. And as he discovered, it's been a problem for more than a decade. The views are spectacular. But at Sharon Ost's house, this is Aiden and this is Abigail. There is something lurking in this grandmother's water. They have never been allowed to drink Surfside water. The reason? High levels of cancer causing arsenic. Surfside Beach near Freeport is just one of several water providers in our area that serves its residents' tap water with high levels of arsenic. Channel 2 reviewed Texas Department of Environmental Quality records and found water here has averaged nearly 20% more arsenic than the EPA's limit. And it's been this way since 2003. Have people been drinking unsafe water? I would say yes. To what degree? I don't know. Pete Gutierrez heads the Public Works Department. He's personally not afraid of the water because he says it has been improving. I know a lot of people that's been drinking it. You think that it was fine to drink and had no health problems? I don't think so. Oz says she doesn't buy it. She thinks that the city and the state are not taking this problem seriously. Texas has been downplaying this very real public health issue, much like Michigan dismissed the problem of lead in drinking water in Flint. Tom Pelton works for the Environmental Integrity Project, a nonpartisan environmental group. He points to this two-year study suggesting even low arsenic levels just half of the EPA limit can cause lower IQs in kids. His team found that communities all over our area have had consistently elevated arsenic for years. Take the water here at Trina Valdera's home in Cotton Bayou Park. That's in Chambers County. She's had high levels since 2004. In fact, they've averaged 129% above the EPA's limit. We don't even give it to our dogs. In Northwest Harris County, people living here near the Grand Parkway and Boudreaux Road have dealt with average arsenic levels of 26% above the limit for a decade. Kind of like if you smoke one cigarette, you're not going to drop dead instantly, but if you smoke cigarettes over 10 years, you will have an increased risk of cancer. That's exactly the kind of cancer risk these communities are facing. We found recent high arsenic levels in these other places, too. You can see detailed boundaries in this story on clicktohouston.com. This is a problem that can be easily solved. There are filtration systems called reverse osmosis filtration systems that do take the arsenic out. It does cost money. Until it's fixed, Pelton wants the state to tell people not to drink the water that's above the limit, just like other states such as Wisconsin and Minnesota do. Texas is not taking it seriously. In Surfside, Pete thinks that he's found another solution, one that he hopes to have up and running within just a few weeks. How is this new well different than the old well? This well, bigger, more volume, but deeper way deeper. Grandmother Sharon Oss says her family has a right to clean water and she is tired of waiting. I love my children and my grandchildren and I want them to have safe water. We're God-fearing, tax-paying citizens and we deserve that. Jace, people may be wondering why the state doesn't just tell people not to drink the water. Yeah, so the state doesn't believe it's a problem unless someone would drink it for several decades. And TCEQ notes that bladder cancer, which is the type of cancer most often associated with high levels of arsenic, is not any higher in Brazoria County where Surfside Beach is than it is elsewhere in the state.